In our continuing coverage, one week from today, lawmakers and other state leaders will be meeting to address the growing prison population. News 5's Allison Zimmerman in studio tonight with a closer look at some of the plans for this committee. And Robin Elizabeth, as of the end of last month, there are 14,227 prisoners in our state prisons, which is almost the full capacity of the number of space in our prisons. And this issue is an exclusive to Colorado, which is why the director of the Department of Corrections has some ideas he'd like to see brought up. The stakes are too high, uh, not just in terms of expanding prison population, but public safety. Dean Williams only took over as the executive director of the state's right prison now. system six months ago, and in that time, he's learned a lot about who's serving time behind bars. My entire job every day is to figure out what we're going to do about the recidivism rates. It's one of the topics he's eager to bring up with lawmakers when he and other leaders meet for an interim committee on the state's prison population. About prison population, I don't think without talking about recidivism. Williams hopes by taking a good look at how prisoners live their lives after their time, it could prevent more of them from returning. We can change what the definition of incarceration is for people who are trying. If you're, I say if you're one of the knuckleheads and you don't, want to, you don't get it, then you're going to spend every single day behind the walls. That's fine. It's a problem across the U.S. where prisons are nearing full capacity. Williams says lawmakers should consider programs encouraging work for prisoners while they're serving time. No matter about being softer or being nicer to people who are getting out of prison, we just want them to have a job. We just want them to have a place to stay and something to eat. Now, this past legislative session, lawmakers did approve bills to limit the prison population. Those included parole changes and using the Centennial Correctional Facility in Canyon City for emergency situations. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Allison Zimmerman, News 5.